Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions, and today I'm going to show you a super clever way to add like a really simple survey or poll into your emails. We're going to be using buttons for this, so you can really only ask one question with a couple of answers, and they just click one of those buttons to give you your answer. If you're interested in doing a more complex survey, you can use MailChimp survey function or an outside program like SurveyMonkey. In those cases, you would link to that survey within your email. People would click on it and go to a separate web page. Let me show you how to do it. Please. So first I'll break down for you how this strategy works out. This works best if you're asking one question. And in this instance, I'm going to be asking the people that I email what videos they're interested in seeing next. This is going to give me insight and allow me to send targeted emails based on people's preferences, based on what they're interested in. So I'm asking my question and then I've set up three buttons. These are just button blocks. Now for this one, I have the buttons linking to a landing page that I created that just says, thank you for filling out my survey. You could decide to link to your website or maybe a specific page on your website, depending on what they pick. But what we're going to do is on the back end, we're going to track who clicked on what button. So let me show you how that works. So here's the email that I sent. And as a recipient, I'm just going to click on what I'm interested in, audience organization. And when I click it, it just bumps me right over to this landing page that I created. If you wanna know how to create a landing page in MailChimp, I have a video for that, I'll link it for you. Now let's go to the campaign report for this email to see what the results of our survey were. Okay, so I'm in campaigns. Here's my email. I'm going to view report. So down here, we can see that four people clicked on my email, but we want to know where they clicked. So we're going to scroll down to view click map. Because I set up all of my buttons to go to the same link, they all went to that landing page. I can't do it based on where they went. I have to do it based on what they clicked on. And this will give us a visual representation of where they clicked. So two people clicked on automated emails, three on audience organization, and one on little tricks. But I want to see who clicked on this one. So right here, see all contacts who clicked. So these are the folks that clicked on that button that said automation. So they want to learn more about how to do automations. Unfortunately, MailChimp doesn't allow us to add a tag to all of them right from the screen. So we have two choices. One is we can export this as a CSV and then import it again into our audience and add a tag on the import. That would be the easiest way to do it if you had a long list here. Or because I only have three, I can do it manually, in which case I'll click on one and I'll go ahead and add a tag up here. I actually already have one called automations. I'll add it to their profile. And then I'll go back to the next and do it again. Well, there we go. Isn't that trick so good? I was so excited when I figured it out. I hope that it helps you out. If you want to learn anything else about MailChimp, I put out new videos all the time. I'll post some of them here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you around.